Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. The Earth Master here uh, with an update on this Monday, January 22nd, 2024. 7.0 earthquake to start off this Monday, coming into the China area, 13 kilometers deep here. Uh, this earthquake coming in relatively shallow, and uh, no doubt uh, the pager system indicating that there is... Uh, uh, some population density out here it looks like uh, it is in a zone that does see quite a bit of earthquake activity uh, but it's been a while since we've seen any specific movement out here uh, it has been reviewed by seismologists very limited people uh, reported any shaking out here but uh, there is some population out there uh, looks like earlier they did have a 5.1 uh, yesterday coming up on about a 24 hour period here but uh, yeah goodness 7.0 China area and again uh, relatively shallow at about 13 kilometers deep for that earthquake uh, coming in about oh 40 minutes or so ago we're still seeing some of the s waves travel across the globe uh there in japan looks like new zealand picking up those s waves and also in southern california all over the place these big earthquakes can definitely create uh, a large seismic wave that's picked up all over the place so yeah that uh this earthquake here what is that strongest one 2000 uh no, not the strongest one. I think this is the uh, second strongest, right? Let's check and see what we got here for the largest magnitude. Yeah. Uh, so we did start off the new year with a 7.5 there in Japan. Um, yeah. Second one, 7.0. Goodness. <laughs> going to be an interesting year here, I think, folks. That's for sure. All right. Uh, just going to do a quick update here. Got a lot of school stuff I have to do this morning. Um see if we got anything uh, else going on in terms of major movement uh, overnight uh, seeing a little bit of uptick here across the western edge of the filipino plate uh, not a whole lot down here into the uh, new zealand area although we did see a couple uh, earthquakes in the deeper range from yesterday well one today 5.3 224 kilometers deep for that quake uh, so things are still moving in that area uh, let's see what else we got here. Some aftershock activity coming in from that 7.0. That will be consistent for sure. Uh, aside from that, minimal activity across the rest of the area. Really not see anything major going on across Southern Cal uh, or the states. Generally light microquake activity out here. I do want to double check and see what we got for uh, historical large earthquake activity out here in this region. Let me bring that up here real quick. Uh, check the earthquake catalog, which is a handy dandy deal. So you can, guys can see uh, what we got for historical quake activity out here. All right, so we're gonna go up here into the area of interest. I think it's gonna be right about here. Let me double check though and make sure. Um, I thought I had the other one pulled up here. Standby for just a second. Monday's been 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 pretty crazy so far. Um, yeah, that covers it. I would say, right? Let's see what we got. I put in a seven point oh or six point five and above just to see what we got for the uh, activity here. A uh, nuclear explosion back in nineteen ninety two. Goodness. Um, yeah, so there's a 7.0. Looks like 1985 seen a seven pointer out here. 7.1 back in 1978. Um, eight pointer. Goodness, that's a little bit further up north here back in 1911. But uh, for the most part, nearby looks like 6.5 back in 1915. A little bit of time has passed since that uh, activity. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. We'll do a little bit further updating. Uh, in the afternoon uh, at least my time anyway we're still expecting a g2 class storm 
looks like we are getting uh, some proton events right now uh, some charged protons from that uh, CME activity that kicked up a couple days ago uh, flaring currently with C flare activity but we do have a chance for some X flare possibility because the uh, sunspot region up here 3559 is still uh, quite complex and it is currently facing the earth all right uh, we'll be back here a little bit later on this afternoon to cover more of this once i get uh, things situated here on my end have a good one we'll catch you guys back out here later